Welcome to the God Project. Uh, this is entitled The Christmas Lie by William J. Eisenman, D.D. The 1944 edition of the Encyclopedia Americana states that Christmas, excuse me, the furnace is coming on. Thank you. Uh, states that uh, Christmas was not celebrated in the first centuries of the Christian Church. It was in the fourth century that a feast was established to celebrate Jesus' birth. In the fifth century, the Western Church, that is the Roman Catholic Church, said it should be celebrated forever on the day of the old Roman feast celebrating the birth of Sol, the sun god. No one knows Jesus' birthday, but by the 5th century, Christmas had morphed into an official Christian festival. Jesus was not born in winter. Luke 2, chapter 2, verse 8, states that Jesus was born when the shepherds were in the fields watching over their flocks. This could not have occurred in Judea in December. In that area of the world, the shepherds brought their sheep down from the mountainsides into corrals no later than the middle of October to protect them from the rains and the cold. Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 11, Ezra 10, verse 9 and 13. It was the custom in those days to send the sheep to the deserts and fields in the early spring, about the time of Passover, and they brought them home at the first rain. And that comes from the Adam Clark Commentary, Volume 5, page 370, the New York edition. The first rains began in the Hebrew month of Marchesa which overlaps October and November of the Gregorian calendar. According to the Bible, Jesus was born before October 15th. He could not have been born later than September. Jesus was definitely not born on the 25th of December. His birth was in the early fall about six months after Passover. Brumalia, which ran from December 17th through the 24th, was celebrated as the shortest day of the year and the new sun, S-U-N. This holiday was co-opted by the early Roman Catholic Church. It was a pagan festival, but it became rationalized as the birthday of the Son of God and not the sun god. It is clear that Christmas is simply sun worship called by another name. Christmas came from the Roman Catholic Church, which got it from paganism. The pagans got Christmas from Babylon. Nimrod was the grandson of Ham, one of the sons of Noah. Nimrod founded the Babylonian system, the system of economics, dealing with organized competition and profit-making, the devil's economics, the economic system practiced in America today. Nimrod founded the first kingdom, and it is said that he married his own mother, Semiramis. When he died, she claimed an evergreen tree sprang to life overnight from a dead tree stump. Christmas has nothing to do with the birth of Jesus, the Bible, or God. Christmas is a pagan festival. Does that mean that you can't enjoy the season? Not at all. However, you are a hypocrite if you pretend as if it has anything to do with God and you defend the holiday as if it is of God. The birth of Jesus is a secret. 
Those who believe that Christmas is the birthday of Jesus are ignorant, deluded, or downright stupid. They are vain, who would twist and rest the scriptures, that is, rewrite them to make them more in line with their traditions and beliefs. Are not right-wing fundamentalist Christians doing just that, with their rewriting of the Bible, to make it appear more conservative-friendly? They want the Bible to expound a more get way of life, the devil's way of life, in keeping with their rationalized, greedy philosophy. The get way of life, the Christmas lie, is in keeping with this get way of life. The God of the Bible does not accept pagan worship in place of the type of worship he expects. One's traditions cannot override God's laws and be called Christian. A Christian is one who follows Jesus. The end.